Hi, this is Rocket Robin, and today we are in South Hutchinson Island. We are going to do all the beaches with public access, including one that is clothing optional. You stay with us. This is going to be a fun one. So we are not starting with Stewart Beach. We are starting just south of Stewart Beach. And we're just going to start with Tiger Shores Beach. Have you ever been there? It's a small beach, but it's a nice beach. What we're going to show you on each video is the walk to the beach and what the actual beach looks like. Now, each beach is a little bit different, and each walk is definitely different. Some have just sand. Some have a boardwalk. You're going to see each thing that makes each beach unique. Now the next beach we're going to show you is the Virginia Forest Beach. All of these beaches are on the ocean side of South Hutchinson Highland. There is maybe 10 or 12 that we're going to show you different ones. We're not going to do the ones on the other side because that is not the ocean. Those are not beaches. Those are part of the intercoastal. Now you can see most of the beaches are very pretty. We went and it wanted to thunderstorm. You could see the clouds are dark. But it was like 92 degrees with 90% humidity. So it was very hot out. Even the sand was hot on your feet until it started to rain. It'll drizzle at some point. But in, if you're in Florida, it passes. Rain does not last too long, and then you can uh, move along and continue on your day. That's a wonderful thing about Florida. Now the next beach that we're going to show you is Bryn Mawr. Some of these are small, some of these are pretty big. They all have nice boardwalk dock area that you can go down. So I like that. At least most of them do, I should say. Some you have to go up and down stairs. You can see uh, I'm running to go get the picture as fast as I can. No, actually I'm fast forwarding this, but I like to think I'm running. And here is the beach. No, I don't see anyone on it, and it could be because the weather. A lot of these beaches had people, so a few of them didn't have a lot, but it's in the middle of summer. And uh, we get a lot of winter people here in Florida, and especially in this area. So in the summer, you don't expect to get that many. But all the beaches are beautiful here in Florida. You can't beat them, I'll tell you. And the next beach is Beachwalk Pasley Beach, open to the public. Each beach has a little sign with all the information you need to know. This one has a little area so you can clean the sand off of you when you are getting out and here we go now on the left you will see there are some signs some are about the island the barrier islands and some are about the shorebirds and different kinds of animals you might find and the turtles especially a lot of sea turtles so you have to be aware of those and we're very big on lizards so you gotta watch out for those and here is the walk this one is just a nice sandy walk but whichever one of these beaches you choose to go to when you're on South Hutchinson Island they're all very nice there's not a lot of people at most of these as you could tell so you kind of get the feeling like you have a private beach because there's just so many different beaches there are a few that I'm going to show you that there is a big population and I'll explain a little bit more of why on each but in the meantime these are still public so you can go to any of these and a lot of them that are private are resorts there's a lot of resorts and hotels and those have their own private beaches but these are for anyone to go several beaches are also parks and they also have an area for you to walk and hike and look at animals look at the wildlife see what we have the birds here we are in Brob Graham Beach this one is pretty big, has a nice big parking area. And on the left, you're gonna see you can park your bicycles and you can also wash off after you get out of the beach. You wanna do all you can to leave the sand where it is and not take it home. Now, here you go. Look at these big steps and that's quite a way to the beach, but we're gonna zoom it up and make it fast. This is 
not one of the most crowded beaches either, but it's very popular. You can see a man jogging. And you can see how pretty it is. There's also some benches if you just want to sit and relax and watch the beach. This one also does have one of those trails. So you could take that. I think you could take this one to the one we saw previously. And here is the big parking that I want to show you. And there's also another entrance if you want to go in this way rather than the way that I went. Now the next beach I'm going to show you is Jensen Beach. Jensen Sea Turtle Beach. Part of it is Jensen, part of it is Sea Turtle Beach. Now this one is probably one of the biggest and most popular ones that I'm going to show you. There is usually a lifeguard on duty. There's always a lot of people. and There's a lot of fun things to do like this chair. You can take this picture sitting on this chair. This is a huge chair. There's also an area for seating. And the restaurant was not open when I went. I think it's probably only open in the winter months. But they do serve some different kinds of food. You know, typical stuff that you're going to find at the beach. And here we go. Let's take our walk to the beach and show you what it's like. This part, when we got there, it just started to rain. So a lot of people were leaving. But you can see how cloudy it is again over here. But like I said, it did pass. So let's take a look at those few people that did stay. There is the lifeguard station. And then we're going to hit the beach. I have another video on Jensen Beach that I will be making very soon, so please be aware of that if you want to see more just on Jensen Beach. I've done one all on its own. And now I am going to show you around. If you go around the bend, you will see where Sea Turtle Beach is. There's a little extra entrance on the side. There are several entrances for Jensen Beach. I just brought you to the main entrance. And this is the side entrance where Sea Turtle Beach is. Now next, we are hitting Waveland Beach. You'll see at each beach they have a lot of signs. They're always telling you different things. And a lot of things are about the uh, sea animals that we have in Florida. The manatees and different things to be aware of. And the turtles the turtles will build nests in the sand and the babies will come running out at some time and try to get to the water and they don't want you to hurt the nests so you'll see a lot of different signs about wildlife and there's a lot of different kinds of wildlife in Florida well we zip down to this beach and here you can see once again beautiful and there are lifeguards which are not presently on duty and see there's even some resorts and condos right there which have their own beach well welcome and bye from waveland beach we're going to take a little ride up south hutchinson island and see what we can find next we're going to be going to the dog park at one part so that's going to be quite interesting because uh, my dog loves to go to the dog park she loves beaches and now first we're going to hit dolman beach side this is a nice little walk, and this is a nice little beach. So what is your favorite beach so far? I think Jensen. But there's a lot of very nice private beaches. And there are some people on this beach. Each beach seems to have just a few people. Not a lot. Jensen Beach would have had more except that it was raining. As I saw a few people at these beaches, I couldn't help but wonder where all the people were. Kids seem to be having fun. 
And again, this parking lot is very big. There's plenty of parking here. Many of the parking lots for the smaller beaches, there's not a lot of parking. But usually there's enough because there's usually not that many people. That's what's great. Let's check out Normandy Beach. Where are all the people? Now we are going to take you to Herman's Bay. South Hutchinson Island is located in St. Lucie County and it has a population of 4,846. So it's not a real big island. Most of the people probably live in high-rise condos. Most of these beaches are on Northeast Ocean Boulevard, but at some point we will go over and go into Southeast Ocean Boulevard. Well, now we are going to Ocean Bay. Now, Ocean Bay is quite a big long walk back there. And it's kind of scary because you can't see too well. It has a lot of trees. And uh, we're going to take you through it quickly so you can see what it's like. Yeah, we're running again. And this beach actually once we got to the beach there was nobody there so maybe it's because it's quite a ways to get to the beach and people don't want to go that far so think twice about going there but if you really want to be alone you might have a good opportunity to have the whole beach to yourself so there's a lot of goods and there's a lot of bads with having a beach that's hard to get to and this one certainly takes the cake for all the beaches that we see on South Hutchinson Island. This was definitely one of the most difficult to actually get to. But here we are, Walton Rocks. Now this is the dog park and you have to drive a long way to get to where you wanna go to the beach. Now, I have sped this up, but I am showing you the entire road because it is so long. And if you're driving, this takes two and three times longer than what I'm showing you here. I'm not sure if that is why they made this the dog park. It's the really only dog park that you can let your dog off the leash in Stewart. You can bring your dog on other beaches. You just can't let them off the leash. So that's not good because they, they want to go in the water. They can go in the water here. Juno Beach has a beach and it's a very long beach and your dog can go in the water and you can go in the water as well. So if you're near that, I prefer that beach rather than Walton Rocks. But this is what it is, it's the only one in Stewart, and I'm showing you all the different entrances. The main entrance with the bathrooms are in the back. Although we usually use the second entrance, you can go in any of the ways you wanna go. Usually there's a lot of dogs here. On this day, it was just me and the dog, but we enjoyed the walk for a little bit. Another dog came later, 
but you can have days where the whole park is just filled with people and their dogs. It's probably because it was very hot on this day and in the winter time when it's cooler, when it's in the 70s and 80s, it's probably a better time to bring your dog. But in general, it's just a typical park, just like all the others. And the dogs will come up to you and play and want to say hi and they'll go in the water and they'll greet each other. But today it was just my dog Cameo. And it was even a little too hot for her. Probably the hot sand hurt her paws. She was ready to go home the minute she got here, which is very unusual. Right outside the dog park, of course, is the nuclear power plant. As we go on, I'm still in my quest to find all the people. And you know what? I think I found them. So once you get past the nuclear power plant, you hit Blind Creek. Hmm, interesting place. As you can tell, you will see the signs that say, Clothing Optional Beach. You may encounter nude bathers so the parking lot was full really full on this one it was very interesting so it was the treasure coast naturists and they let you know that this is a public beach persons engaged in sexual activity in public areas are subject to arrest okay i thought that quite interesting they held the world skinny dip record here july 11 well i missed that then there's another sign warning you just in case you missed it that beyond this point you may encounter nude bathers yes you may encounter nude bathers let me reiterate that nude bathers so let's start the walk walking down the, the path i figure everything is good but uh oh i can't show you a little bit duh, duh, we'll have to look at something else let's check out this lizard because i don't want to show you Okay, so let's continue. They have passed. Oh, wait, there's more people. Guess we got to show you that lizard again because we can't show you that. Okay, they are gone. Okay, no people. Let's walk to the path and show you what it is. Okay, so let's go around the corner and see. Oh, boy, can't show you that. Well, how about we just take a look at the beach? Here is the beach. And if I look straight ahead very nice very clear beach i can't really show you to the left because they're all nude bathers and if i go to the right they are nude bathers oh boy well this is oh there's a nude bather i shouldn't have showed you that well let's see to the right what i can show you maybe i'll go oh that's all i can show you on that beach i tried but you know I can't show all the nude bathers. Let's go to the next beach, Middle Cove. Whew, glad to get past that beach. Here we go, down the path at Middle Cove. It is quite a walk, but you know what? There is no naked people. Everybody seems to have clothes on. Wait, there is nobody. They were all at the other beach. The other beach was packed. This beach, nobody here, but if they, come at least you can wear clothes so let's take this long walk with clothes on and see what we have over here well at this beach it's just the beach not too many people those that are here yes they are clothed but no one's here because they're all at the other beach. And that's it. Wow, just a plain ordinary beach. How disappointing after the other one. So let's go on and let's go to the next beach on South Hutchinson Island. And that one is Frederick Douglass. That beach, you can see the path. Oh boy, here we go again. Long, nice walk. We're going to show you 
or at least we'll go semi far and see what we could find at this beach. Again, this beach was fairly empty. The next beach on the path is John Brooks Park Beachside. Again, you know, information, like I told you, every single beach there are some information. Now, I am going to drive through this one. I've walked enough to the end and found that no one is there because they're all at the other beach. So, I will show you the little path. You can walk it if you wish. I have had enough for that day. I've seen more than I want to see. And I will keep going on to the next beach. Now, the beaches from here are very nice. They seem to get better and better after that. There's that lull and then there's this Surfside Beach. It has a great picnic area, a great place to bring your family. Uh, you can bring your dog, you can uh, play fetch, you can play catch with your kids if you want um, nice a bunch of areas and there's bathrooms and there's picnic tables and there's a place to um, get the sand off when you're done and the walk is not that bad I'm gonna show you that actually I'm gonna keep walking this time and I will show you the beach and the next few beaches are very nice I definitely would recommend them this is a good one once again this is Surfside Beach these are more towards Fort Pierce. And I would consider these beaches over here very kid friendly. You might want to avoid the other beach that we don't want to talk about that we already did enough that was earlier, but this is a great place for the entire family. Look at another nice one. This is South Beach Park. bring you to South Beach Park. Next we will hit my favorite park of the day towards Fort Pierce and that would be Jetty Park. Now on the right side of Jetty Park, are, there's a lot of different restaurants. There's a Hurricane Bar and Grill, which wings they have, and everyone we ate there. And they have a beach, and they have an area to fish. They have a whole bunch of different things that we're gonna show you, because uh, it's really nice if you haven't been there and you're in the Fort Pierce area. That is probably one of the ones that you would most benefit from going to and there are no nude people at that beach yeah, it has an inlet to the ocean so you see a lot a lot of boats there's a nice place to sit you can make a little grill and have some hamburgers hot dogs or whatever it is you like to eat there's some rocks there are some this is where they have fishing You'll see quite a few people because it's really a nice area and they really have made it special. I'm going to show you some of the benches and the designs. Look at those mosaics. 
with fish, they're really, really nice. That's one. There's, there's a bunch that they have. There's a dolphin you will really enjoy. There's an area where you can try to look out and, and see. I don't believe you have to have any money. Just you can use it, but it doesn't seem to work that well. I'm sure it's been used many, many times. And here is the beach. Very pretty. Catch any fish? Here's a place for you to gut them and clean them. Well, this has been Rockin' Robin. I hope you enjoyed our video on all the beaches on South Hutchinson Island. Please remember to subscribe, hit the bell, and give us a thumbs up. Have a good beach day.